Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I literally just woke up. That's why my morning voice is still with us, but we want to get some smoothies this morning. It's pretty early right now. We aren't in Austin. We are actually in New York. If you guys didn't see my last vlog, definitely go watch that because that's a little bit more of exploring the city. Today is our last day in New York and I'm going to share a little bit more about why I'm here later. But first I saw like the New York version of the Hailey Bieber Air One smoothie at this place called Matcha Bowl. So I really want to try it out on our last day. Let's do a little taste test. I feel like this has a lot more strawberry than the Hailey Bieber one from Air One, but let's try it. I don't like the Hailey Bieber one better. Both aren't like too sweet, but this one's... The Selena. <laughs> the Selena <laughs> one? <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just like not really sweet at all. It's more like tart. And I know it has like healthy stuff like sea moss and shit, so I'm not really sure what's all in it, but... I don't know about this one, guys. I'm in the 60s Soho little lounge area, just kind of like running through my questions. I am going to New York next week with Amazon um, and I'm going to be speaking on a freaking panel and it's for Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Apparently it's this like intimate dinner and me and one of the other girls are going to have a Q&A panel um, talking about Amazon Influencer Program and Asian sellers on Amazon so I am just so freaking excited. I'm going to rewrite them or retype them I guess on um, my Notion just because like it's easier to read for me and then just put my answers because I'm actually doing the panel with one other girl, which I'm excited to actually meet her. Um, but it just like looks really <laughs> cluttered right here and just so small. I'm the type of person that has my text on my phone so huge and everyone like makes fun of me because I'm like such a grandma with my text, but honestly, it just helps me kind of even like memorize it and get it in my brain if you know the text is like this big so just transferring everything over but i don't want to memorize my script too much because i'm just gonna like stutter over my words a little bit so i don't know trying to find a happy balance it's currently 2 30 the event starts at 6 but i want to be there at 5 30 just to like try to take content before everyone gets there so i'm getting a little bit nervous honestly i thought it would be a lot more like stomach churning by now <laughs> so thank god that hasn't happened hopefully that won't happen i'm trying to stay as calm as possible i actually just took a nap so i could like be very calm and just like ready to do this i still want to go over the questions like a billion more times um i have some stories to post and i also have deliverables for um this whole panel thing um, so I have to like look through the creator brief and everything like that. This is the dress I'm wearing right behind me. It's like this beautiful long maxi dress. It's from Rails. I just did my hair and I've been using this curler recently. It's from, um, T3. Yes, T3 it has a clamp on it. So I just did like the beachy waves and now I'm going to do my makeup. And I'm really, really hoping I have a good makeup day because like three how how long have i been here in new york i don't even know but like majority of the days have not been great makeup days so just really really hoping that today is going to be a good one i feel like my skin feels pretty smooth so we'll just have to like moisturize and make sure we start with a good base but let's get ready all right i'm ready and god bless me with a good makeup day my hair is struggling a little bit at the top because i slept in like freshly wet hair i wanted to give you guys some of like my tips if you guys are new creators i feel like that would be fun these tips are in no particular order i'm just gonna say what i think but number one is if you're on like a campaign with a brand always be very like responsive number one and then number two just like not hard to work with like make it easy for them so that they'll want to work with you again and again and again. Number two is to be nice to every single person you meet because you never know who they are, what kind of connections they have, who they know. And I know it's so intimidating going to like brand events for the first time, but when you get those opportunities, you take them and you run with it because again, you never know like who you could meet, who's gonna be there. And so definitely take advantage of all those opportunities when you get them. When working on campaigns, 
always under promise and over deliver especially if you have time just like give them like one more asset one more like really high quality photo or just like repost the tiktok onto reels and they will be so happy with it they will definitely keep you in mind for future opportunities which means more money for you this is a really trust the process kind of moment <laughs> going for those beachy waves so we're gonna brush it out a little bit last night i was talking to my friend and telling her how nervous i was gonna be today and she was like you know what you should just like take a shot beforehand and i was like that's not a bad idea so i just put some dry shampoo even though it's not greasy i just need to like I don't know texturizer or something something's going on but anyways we are about to head over there my friend Laura was supposed to come with me but she got sick from I think we think it's the espresso martini that we had last well I didn't have that but her and her boyfriend had it so yeah I'm really sad about that but Ryan's standing in for at least the beginning part and hopefully helping me take some content um and i'm excited to meet michelle also i don't think we told you guys what we did last night first we went to american bar and then we went to comedy cellar ryan saw one of his favorite comedians right yeah is he like top two or uh, yeah i'd say he's number one or two really what's his name sam morrell like shane gillis and sam morrell are top two for me so he was really excited yeah. when he came out there because like, you don't <laughs> you don't yeah. know who's coming out right, right no. in comedy cellar so it could be someone super famous, which I guess he is kind of famous, right? Like Antonio, you dropped in, meaning like you shouldn't have been there. I can't yeah. Like a probably try on new material. Yeah. So insert clips from last night. I'm bringing this big coach bag. I love it. I actually got it on Amazon. Everything that I'm wearing today is from Amazon. Um, ooh, I'm not wearing earrings. Good thing I just checked that. I'm with Michelle. We're walking Hi. the street, and she is on the panel with me. So we're doing it together. We're both freaking nervous as shit. Nervous. I can't even function. I know, I feel like I'm getting caught in mouths because I'm like so nervous and my, my mouth is drying up. We have our man's leading the way because we're like, we can't think. How about you guys just put in your maps? We'll follow you. But we're headed over to Loom Studios. We just got here, guys. It's so loud. I'm like so overwhelmed, but we just got to the studios. We're at Loom Studios and we're about to walk in. It's 5.34. Four minutes late. Okay. Yeah. She just dropped it. The Instagram stories is... So like, Sony is so good. Yeah, but then... Products, but are we, like, are there yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm like a second-hand yeah. photographer okay. now at this point. I've like learned... Like, <laughs> I literally... I know like the ISO. Uh, that's about it. But like... Damn, I can... <laughs> I know I work my way around okay, Final yeah. Cut and this camera now pretty well. Oh, okay, so we can, like, but so, so bulky. Yeah, yeah okay. like I okay. dissipate my purse wherever okay, she goes. so could my boyfriend stay for the, the panel? Yeah, so okay. he's not sitting, yeah. but you can feel free to like. Totally fine. Yeah, let's try to make sure I get chat. Thank you, Thanks, <laughs> 
on my storefront featuring all these ocean brands. Very cool. I've actually been using that, that brand I can't pronounce that they gave us in LA. I think it's too loose to. Is that what it is? <laughs> I, I like the body wash? Ginseng, serum, something like that. So I'm excited to see all the other products too. Yeah, testing. Oh, okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Amazon's AAPI Heritage Month dinner. Girls, how you feel it? A little nervous. A little nervous. <laughs> we just did mic check and they just started letting people in and I feel like my heart is about to come out of my chest. Um, but apparently we're gonna be sitting down and be called up from our tables. And I just feel like my heart is freaking pounding. But it's gonna be okay, I feel like, hopefully. Okay, Tom, the moderator's gonna help, I think. What? The moderator's gonna help you a lot, I think. Okay. Hopefully. It's just it's conversation, nice. yeah. yeah. She's like an Amazon live host, but now I have to film my deliverables. Um, so we're gonna be filming with the products over here on the Famous life. I feel like it looks psycho, but it's okay because we're at an event, <laughs> yeah. and this is from Amazon, so I will link it for you guys. Your shoppers a peace of mind when they do shop for you. I feel that because whenever my followers come to my storefront, I feel like they're always in a bind trying to get like an outfit for like the Friday up. And so I really try to only, you know, add majority products that are prime because a lot of the trendier pieces are not always prime. How do each of you strategize for those different platforms? Um, it's not like a certain thing. Okay, so we all know that TikTok is better if you do short form content and especially for my Amazon trial hauls, I really try to make it as short as possible. Um, I have two tips for you guys. One is to add a photo of the product that you purchased, like the online picture, crop out the name and the style and so that way when they want to purchase it, they go into your Amazon storefront. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is to kind of put a little teaser clip in the beginning. So um, let's say you're unboxing your newest mini skirt and you're wanting to do a styling video. So you'll film the unboxing, but take that little style clip the two seconds before, put it in the beginning, and that kind of captures the audience's attention and then also just kind of increases your watch time. Um, I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> For YouTube, I kind of just dive into more detail about the product, how it fits, how I'm styling it, maybe like a couple ways to style it. And then on Instagram, like she was saying, I kind of go more into those everyday products. I recommend starting out with five to 10 folders um, and really building out because once you promote it, then they're more likely to maybe even bookmark your page, follow your page. If you didn't know, you can follow Amazon storefronts and kind of get updated there. Um, so just really build it out before you start promoting it. And then another tip I have for you guys is to post shoppable content. I feel like I kind of, sometimes it goes under the radar for me too, like I can forget about it, but nowadays there's this thing called creator ads. I'm not sure if you guys know about that, but I just found out about it. <laughs> um, and so basically if a, if a video doesn't perform well on TikTok, then bring it over to Amazon and it could get pushed for creator ads and then you could make commission on there. So. You heard it here first. <laughs> Partnerships, you guys know, like once you complete your deliverables, they pay you a flat fee. But for Amazon Influencer Program, there's really no cap for your commission. I would say give yourself a goal to link out at least one Amazon product today on Instagram stories or TikTok. And that will kind of just get you and your followers used to using the links, clicking the links. And also it can kind of educate your followers on how to use just your storefront or kind of make it known that you have a storefront. I mean, anything else you would love to add about being a part of the Amazon Influencer Program or... I think just being consistent is really important. I mean, everyone says that. I mean, if you, if you look up just content creator tips, they're just like, be consistent, but it's so important to do so. And I think it's really important to make yourself a checklist because we have so many platforms these days, like now Lemonade is coming on, and I'm like, okay, hey, we, we have enough. But it's, it's important to make that checklist so that if you have time in your day and you can do a little bit more, kind of go down the checklist. Maybe you posted 10 Instagram stories and then maybe do a TikTok and then maybe upload that TikTok to Amazon Storefront. 
And uh, everyone, give, let's give them a round of applause. My face is shaking. You're good. Um, my smile is hurting. My cheeks are hurting. And I think I did well, but I forgot a lot of my stuff. But it's okay. Hopefully, did, Ryan did well on cameraman. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you want this? You, wanna... you gotta go home, boy. Yeah. And it's time for you to get the full yeah, yeah. doctor. We did it, y'all! Hi! The event just ended, and they're trying to kick us out, but we're like, oh, I don't want to go. But yeah, very relieved. Um, I thought I would be relieved like once I got out there. Definitely wasn't. Like <laughs> my voice cracked. I think. I was and, stuttering. Um, I was like, my voice was like. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's over. We did it. We can say we did it, and that's really cool. And it was a great event. So fun. Met so many awesome girls. Did you? Yes. No, seriously. I got to like really know everyone and just really get to know everyone. Yeah, and it was fun because I feel like I I thought I saw a lot of Asian content creators. But I guess I did because I was like, wait, I don't know half of you. Yes. But I met the guy from the summer I turned pretty. Valley's so brother. Cool. And we got a photo together, so that was cool. <laughs> it is 10 p.m. I feel like my brain is just like fried right now because I was just talking to so many people and it was so much fun meeting all these girls. Like it's so funny though because I follow a lot of these newer people on TikTok and they all have names that aren't their actual name so i was like i don't know your name but like i know of you and so i was like what's your name um so it was really cool to meet some more people i met a girl that i followed for so long her name's charlene she's really good on instagram stories um and that was really fun because she was like oh my gosh wait i know you because she follows me back um and then i met this other girl named karen i think that's how you say it again, the TikTok names like look crazy. So I'm just like, I don't even know how to pronounce these names. Um, but she was so, so sweet. And she was like super nervous. And she was like, thanks for saying hi to me because I was so nervous. The Amazon panel went well, I think. I don't know. Like I'm seeing videos and I'm like, I don't think I want to watch them. But I am very excited that I was able to cross that off my bucket list. And I could say I was on a panel. Um, so I wanted to do a little unboxing of the goodie bag because you guys already know Amazon hooks it up if you guys watch my LA vlog. Okay, so I first saw that this was in like the back room with the products and I was like, I really hope they gave us more of this stuff because it's so good, but it is super duper pricey. I want to say this is like $200. This mm -hmm. little cream right here is $200. The serum I use, I looked it up the other day. I was gonna, you know, share it on stories, but it was like $200. I was like damn like it's good but i'm like i don't know if it's 200 dollars good but i'll keep you guys updated on that of course um granola cinnamon chai okay i'm gonna get it back into my health you know and fitness journey because grad season is over i really don't have any more excuses and that's how i kind of got um exercise throughout the weeks was like my photo sessions um so now that i don't have that i gotta get my butt back into shape and i'm excited to be eating healthier so i can try to incorporate this stuff. Um, this is coffee better for you candy. This is all you. Coffee? Yeah, it says coffee better for you candy. A light chewy snack made with real coffee and milk. Mm -hmm. Ryan will probably like that. I do not like coffee, unfortunately. Um, ooh, they gave us a little Venus uh, floor little rose. I don't want to unwrap it just yet. That's cute. What is it? It's like those roses that are like Lasts like a year oh. or like more. I don't even know. How are you know. getting that home? What did you say? How are you going to get it home? They packaged it. That's why I don't want to unbox it. Okay. I'll take it home and see if it lasts. Okay, this is another one of these. Um, Sulwasu. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> you guys know in the LA vlog, I was like having a little hard time pronouncing this, but this is the activating serum. This isn't the one I've been using, but. I feel like this is going to be a good one too. Ooh, we got a boy smells candle. I like this. It's petal. 
It's like a... Smelly boys? <laughs> you can smell it. Ryan, Ryan and I love to smell candles. What do you think? It's like a rose-scented candle. It reminds me of something you have. I don't know what it is, though. Remember when I had that Kendra Scott candle? Mm -hmm. It was like roses. It smells similar, but this smells a little bit less, which honestly is good for me because I... Hell yeah, this is it, guys. <laughs> this is the serum that I was like, I really hope they give this to me because I've been using this. It's the Concentrated Ginseng Renew Renewing Serum. So this stuff is good, and I think that's it. It came in this cute little bag, and that was our day and now we have to pack up because our flight is at like 7 maybe 6 55 in the morning um and so i want to be packed ready to go um and yeah i mean i'm excited to go home i like to travel i think i like the idea of traveling but I, at the end of the day i love going back to my own apartment i always say if i could transport myself back to my apartment for the night i'd be totally okay to travel but at the end of the day i'm missing my dog i just saw a dog on the street and i was like wait i have a dog at home i'm so sad but we'll get to see her tomorrow so no big deal i'm very very thankful for this experience and just my relationship with amazon and thankful for you guys because none of this would be possible without any of you so i wanted to give you all a virtual hug and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope i got enough footage um but i just really wanted to capture this for memories for myself because this is a big milestone for me so if you guys want to see more content you can go follow me on instagram and tiktok both are so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see you guys in my next video bye